Hey everyone, this is CLR Gaming. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's good to have you guys. Oh no, it's the pee, -pee storm coming. Oh boy, every time I try and start. I was going to show you the outside. I expanded our base a little bit. I added this VeggieTube 3.0. Yes, yes. Ugh, get inside everybody, everybody inside. Whew. Welcome to another episode of Planet Crafter. I've been a little busy buddy while you guys have been away. In the last episode, if you remember, we headed out there to the aluminum planet. <laughs> that area that was like blue. I brought some more aluminum back and I emptied those chests that we found in the spaceship. And I came back here and look at this setup. Huh? Three monitors. I know. I could uh, basically stream YouTube on here or do a Twitch stream on this planet. I did our update screen so you can see. Look at these numbers. Yeah, I know. Scientists, remember? Look at those numbers going up. We added, oh look, this is um, terraformation, I'm all over the place, I'm so excited. You guys, I've been waiting for you to come in all this time. But look, uh, terraformation stages is a monitor that you can build. And look, blue skies, we're 64% of the way there. I've added a bunch of these little veggie tubes. Let me go upstairs to show you. Uh, we added some more. VeggieTubes 2.0 and like I said we unlocked VeggieTube 3.0 takes aluminum and they cannot be built inside they have to be outside so that's why that guy's out there and I made three more heaters producing 4.50 heat each four and a half what is it PKS I'm sure it's related to smart stuff that I don't quite know look at that bad boy I know <laughs> That is a drill 3.0. Guys, we have been progressing. Look at that. It took two aluminum, but now that we found the aluminum fields there, we can get aluminum fairly easy. And then I put our antenna up here. If you remember in the last episode, we tried to contact um, another planet. And there's a message waiting for us, so maybe we did get a hold. But uh, hopefully in this episode we can start seeing blue skies. I was trying to show you before the peepee -pee storm came here. Look at the sky! Eh? Eh? It's getting there. We are almost there, guys. With blue skies. We're, we're a long way from grass and water and animals, but one thing at a time. Planet wasn't built over day. I have two of these drills. Planet wasn't built overnight overnight planet wasn't built overnight did I say over day that doesn't make any sense I left a spot here for another food tube and uh, I did grow one of these squash shishish, shish. and the food it restores I believe was 40 so so far these beans are winning so I wanted what are we at 70% there is a message here, so let's check this out. This one. Hello, I finally managed to locate the system they sent you to. Oh, it's our girl Riley? I don't have much time, but I'll try to give you some advice. Oh, Riley? I don't know Riley. Do I know Riley? Very well may know Riley. I finally managed to locate the system they sent you to. I don't have much time, but I will try to give you some advice. Okay, I'm all ears. The success rate of Planet Crafters is so low because it's nearly an impossible task. Huh. You should find space food in your pod and maybe in space wrecks. Riley, you're like a, a few days late. You'll be able to grow food by yourself when you meet the correct requirements, so try to find some vegetable seeds. Riley is slow. Exploration and improvements are essential. Explore and improve your equipment to increase the chance of survival. I hope this message will reach you. Well, Riley, I mean, it reached us a little late, but it, it, it reached us. Hey, that means that we could probably communicate with other people, too, if Riley could get a hold of us. Maybe Riley was one of our friends in jail? I can't remember. Who's to say? But that's a good sign. We're at what? 70? <gasps> We're going to hit it in this episode. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I do. I'm ready to go. Look at me being prepared and such. Just kidding. Water? Uh, we have one water. Let's drink that. 
Now, while I was collecting things, there we go. Oop, I'm gonna hit the wrong button because that's what we do. Take a drink. While I was over here collecting some items, I saw a huge, I mean, a jibungus spaceship. Look, look, you see the piece there? This thing looks bigger than the one we were at over there. And then there's this really neat looking rock formation. That I kind of want to check out as well. I don't know what to do. Which one should I go to first? The closer one? Probably the closer one, right? I mean, look at this place. It's gnarly. Wow. Who is this? Oh yeah, this is, uh, Jernome? Jernome, you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh my god. Guys, we're communicating with someone. Jernome, you, you can hear me. Um, my frequency might be a little off. You're, you're very squeaky, but I think that's my fault. You know, I'm not the greatest with radios. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm kind of being a gnome and everything. Uh, I'm sorry, a gnome? Did you say gnome? Yeah, a gnome. What are you, a small folk? Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that small. You're a gnome. This is great news. I am CLR. Oh, you're CLR. Do you need a pickup? Y yes, yes I do. I, I, I actually do need a pickup. Well, I'll be right there. Uh, when did you get a radio? Well, I built it not too long ago, actually. You know where to pick me up, Trinome? See, Ryan, you're so funny. Of course I know where to get you. I'm downstairs right now. I'll be right up. Oh, Trinome, uh, there's a... Trinome, there's a storm coming. I don't think I... Trinome? Huh? Trinome? Huh? What the heck was that about? Guys! I think we lost him because of the flippin' storm. Jernome knows where we're at and he's gonna pick us up? New message! Oh my, this is great! Oh, well, not this part, but... Oh my god, we're out of here! He knows where to get us! Did he say he was a gnome? Hmm. Maybe that's like a coat. You know, I don't know all the species in the galaxy. I met quite a few in jail, but, you know, oh god, should I come out or not? I want to kind of go in there. It seems like that's covered. This is wild. He seemed to know where we were at. He probably got the coordinates off the radio transmission or something. Oh, I can't wait to get off this hell planet. Run away from Sentinel Corp. Bunch of jerks. And then uh, we'll be home free. Where's my... Oh, my light. This looks insane. Absolutely insane. Of all the times to have a storm come, right when I get in contact with somebody who's not Riley. This place is nuts. Let me get some titanium so we can build another base in here if we need to. Oh, what the hell is that? <gasps> Guys, iridium. Iridium. We just put that in our pockets here. We have good pockets. Oh, is this like an iridium mine? This is great news. Oh, I think. And aluminum. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, probably shouldn't have grabbed the ice. Can I get up here? Oh, our oxygen's low. What is this? More ice. Wow, there's iridium everywhere up here. Okay. And aluminum. I wonder, is it always hazy in here, or is it hazy because there was a storm? Oh, there we go. What is this? Let, let's make a house. Focus. Can I make the door? Yes, we can. Okay. Whew. This map is nuts, guys. Yeah, our oxygen's fine. Um, get more iridium? Oh. Starts melting at a hundred and K. Oh. 
I think these are one of those, this is like an, I don't know, we'll call it ice. And once you get your planet to a certain temperature, this will melt away and you'll have easy access. You can go through there, maybe it's a shortcut or maybe it opens up a part of the planet we just can't get to right now, which seems fine. I'm gonna, oh, is that a chest? Let's check this chest out. Oh, super aloe. We'll grab all that. I'm gonna grab a little more iridium and then I'll meet you guys back at our original base. I'll see if I can get in contact with the, uh, oh God, what was his name? Jernome? I think it was Jernome. Cause he's a gnome, yeah, yeah. That's a weird name. Anyway, I'll meet you over there. Hey everyone, welcome back. I made it back to the base last night, waited for the day to come. Look at these blue skies, people. Huh? Eh? Your girl is doing it. Let's see what the percentage is on that. Oh, we did it. We 100%ed it. So now, the next step in the transformation process, which is obviously my favorite part. You guys know my love affair with clouds. And if you don't, you should really check out the uh, 60 subspecial and 100 subspecial. I explain the significance of clouds in my life. But yeah, we're on our way to creating them. And that is truly awesome. Let me get this flashlight out of our face holes. We did get a message. Uh, let's see if it's from that new guy. Nope, it's another message from Riley. I managed to sneak more information. I read that you have a greater chance of success if you build your base at an altitude. I'm not sure why for now. And if you manage to heat the planet enough, some caves could become accessible when the ice melts. We just did that, Riley! And one last thing, you can... I can what? Hello? Hello? God dang it. I can what? She'll probably tell me something like, uh... You can build a desk and put three monitors on it. Well, we also just unlocked this new advanced craft station. So let, oh my, <laughs> they were not joking. This thing is jibungus. Let's just put it down here for now. Okay. I think this is supposed to be one of these, but advanced it or, or. what the hell? Hey, uh, stage four backpack. Stage four oxygen tank. It requires the super alloy. And we can make it now. Cobalt, iron, magnesium, silicon, titanium, aluminum, just for one. Holy moly. Eat a cannoli. I, I don't know. I don't know where any of that's coming. Hey, we unlocked a tier three heater. Ooh, uranium rods. Iridium rods? What do we need that for? A jet pack. Now we're talking, people. Oh, we need, we need jet packs in our lives. It's gonna be a lot of work. Uranium. You know, I haven't found too much uranium. If we look in our danger chest, we have three. And we need how many? We're gonna need four. That makes sense. We're always one short, people. No matter what it is. Alright. So I kind of want to head back out and explore that huge spaceship. We can at least start heading that way and maybe we can take a look at it in the next episode. Hello? Sailor, I'm here. What do you mean you're here? Where are you? <laughs> Sailor, you, you cracked me up so much. I'm in front of your house. What house? You're here? That was very quick, Jernome. Well, you know, we're not that far away. Really? What planet are you guys on? I'm, you know, I'm in the Ezekiel sector. Sailor, are you having one of those days? Are you okay? <laughs> well, to be honest with you, Jernome, Ooh, I've been having I've been having a month. I've been having a crazy month. So, um, which base are you at? I've built quite a few. I don't see you here. Are you on top of the cliff one? Sailor, I'm staring at your house right now, on the tree. I'm sorry, trees? I don't have trees. Jernome, are you crazy? We're not there yet. I'm working on clouds. What the hell are you talking about? Okay. Maybe what is up with this guy? Jernome, I am CLR. Yeah, I know, CLR. Jernome, I've never met a gnome in my life. I, I don't know. Maybe you have me confused with someone else? Wait a minute, are you an alien? <laughs> what? I am not an alien. I am a person. 
What is all this? Are you an alien? Oh, I'm a gnome. We discussed this. Okay, listen. We're confused. Maybe you're another CLR. Obviously. I'm not the CLR you're talking about. Can't believe the universe has more than one CLR. Well, I mean, I can. Have you ever tried to start a social media site using your name? Good lord. Anyway, nuclear reactor. Jernome, I just unlocked a nuclear reactor. Oh boy, that sounds dangerous. I know, I shouldn't have anything to do with that. Alright, Jernome. So I am in the planet Ezekiel. Obviously, you know a different CLR. And I'm sure they're amazing people. Oh, they're, they're amazing and hilarious. And Are they good looking? Maybe, you know, for not being a gnome. Wait a minute, what does your CLR look like? Oh, well, you know, they're small folk and they're red and they have yellow eyes and... Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's totally not me, Dronome. That sounds like an alien, actually. I think you guys are the aliens. But no matter, I am on my way to a big spaceship. I can't believe I'm talking with a, an alien from another planet. Well, believe it, baby. Uh, but don't call me an alien. I am a person. Dronome, I don't want to get lost here. I, I never made the compass. Oh, this CLR over here gets lost all the time. Oh, do they? Hmm. Oh, no, I see it, Jernome. It's humongous. But uh, about that recovery, you think you can get me? What kind of uh, spaceships do you guys have over there? Spaceships? Yeah, you know, like, uh, oh, you know what? I Maybe I'm too primitive, Jernome. I am so sorry. Look at me talking down to you guys. You probably have teleportation. Can you just open a portal and, and maybe if I can find our coordinates, you can just teleport to me? Teleportation? You guys don't have teleportation? Okay. Well, the question still stands, Jernome. What kind of spaceships do you guys have? Well, I don't mean to brag or anything, but I run the airships over here. Airships? Now we're talking, Jernome. Now we're talking. So, uh, you know, what style spaceship? You know what? I might start calling it a spaceship as well. But it's an airship, and uh, not very many of us are allowed to train in it. But I'm one of the very few who have the sort of approvals to do it. Uh, fantastic, Jernome. That, that's really neat. I, I got to the spaceship, Jernome. Oh, yeah? How about you get in it, in it and go away? <laughs> oh, no, Jernome. This one's beat to hell. This one is... it, it crashed. They tend to crash all of them. It's not. So, you are my only hope, my friend. You and someone named Riley, and I don't know who Riley is. So, uh, about that airship, you think you can bring it over here? How does it work, exactly? Well, I'm not supposed to tell people the secrets, but... Uh, listen. I'm looking around, and I'm not gonna tell a soul. There's no one here but me, you know. Well, it's filled with air. And then, I control the furnace, I heat up the air, and the balloon goes up into the sky. Did he just describe a... Hello? A flippin' hot air balloon to me? Hello? Uh, I'm still here, Jerome. Um, I'm sorry, that sounded like a hot air balloon? Or, is that what you just described, a hot air balloon, my friend? Oh, I guess. Yeah, that's a good name for it. Oh my god. Um, do you take that to get up to where the spaceships are? Well, we use it to get up to the trees. The trees? Do you, how, how do you go into space? Well, we don't go into space, you silly. You, you guys don't go into space? No, that's crazy talk. Do people go into space for real? Yes, you know, it's, it's a thing. Like, there's spaceships and you go into the... There's planets and... There's other beings on other planets? Oh my god. Why, of all the places I could have connected with, I've connected with the most primitive planet in the... Jernome, is there anyone there that knows anything about science? Well, I got the radio from Knock. Knock? Yeah, she built me this radio. Okay. Maybe I should talk with Knock. Can you put her on the line? <laughs> well, not right now. I'm at work. And she's in the dangerous part. But I see her on Sundays. 
Okay? When is Sunday in your planet? Oh, it's tomorrow. Okay, all right. Well, maybe you can set up me talking to Nock so we can talk a little science stuff. But it's been great talking with you, Jernome. Really, really nice talking with you. Good talking with you, too. Oh, my God, wait until I tell CLR I met another CLR. She's got to lose her little mind. Well, Jernome, it's been good talking with you. I'm going to leave this channel open. And please leave yours open so we can communicate back and forth. Right now, you're the only one I can talk to. Well, okay, I will do that. You take care of yourself. Uh, good night out there. Oh, I mean, it's daytime, but I appreciate that. You have a good one. Bye. G bye. Goodbye. Oh, my God. A hot air balloon. People, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Maybe we can try and reach out to another planet and forget about your gnome. Although he did sound like a nice guy. Right, I've emptied my pockets except for some food and oxygen. Let us just take a sneak peek. <laughs> you know me and my peeks. Into this ship. Um... Wow, this thing was, this was one of the big boys. And it didn't make it? What is crashing all these ships? Oh, left or right? We'll go left. Don't let me get lost, people. This is where a compass would come in handy, I think. Are these stairs? Oh god. Don't get lost, don't get lost, don't get lost. Keep an eye on my oxygen, let me know when it's low. Oh, man. I'm hoping this knock person will be able to help us. What the hell? Take all of this. Yes. Destroy this. Oh, a new flower? Um, my pockets are full already. Oh, look at all these seeds. Oh, we hit the mother load, people. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Yep, yep. Let me try and find my way out, and we'll come back. If I can... Oh, good. Let's stick to the left. I think there was one more thing, a desk or something we could check out. Here we are. Yes, this way. Where's the deconstruct mode? Can we deconstruct this? We can. Okay. And there appears to be two chests back here. What the hell is that? A bioplastic nugget. What? And look at all that iron. Huh. Oh. I want that blueprint. Dang, this ship is huge. I'm gonna have to look over it a few times to make sure I don't miss anything. And then all these seeds. This is, guys, if you're playing this and you need some seeds, come to this spaceship and go to your left as soon as you walk in, climb the stairs, and there's all the seeds you're going to need. All right, I'll meet you back at the house here. All right, we're back. I got rid of the chest and that crafting station. I put another one of these with all that iron we just found. I do want to make a blueprint screen. There we go. Because we did find two blueprints. And, oh, they're in my inventory already. You gotta love it. Let's decode one of them. What do we got? Big living compartment. Oh, my. Oh, here it is. Damn, it's like four of these pods together. I wonder if it'll get rid of this double line here. I kind of don't like that. Even though you can put a door here if you wanted to, see? And then you'll have a door to the next living compartment. Okay, um, and then we had one more. Decode a blueprint chip. Ooh, a mapping screen. Really? I need a compass. Man, that compass has come back to bite me in the tuchus. What did I need for a compass? Let's check real quick. Two aluminum. We have that. There we go. The thing with this now. Oh yeah, look up top. So our base is like northeast-ish. But what were we, what was I trying to build? The mapping computer. All right, there we go. And I can make a mapping. I don't know. Oh shoot, out of power. Son of a. No satellite in orbit, send a mapping rocket into space to receive a signal a rocket into space listen if i'm sending a rocket into space i am jumping in that rocket and i am leaving let me get some materials and i'll be right back and then we're gonna have to end the episode unfortunately holy moly look at this chest i found when i was trying to find resources 
I can't find silicone, but wow, that chest had all sorts of plants in it. Hey guys, look. There's some clouds starting to form. Eh? Oh, there's a storm coming in. Yeah, look at that. We are 60% of the way to getting clouds. Oh god, another big storm is hitting us. What are we doing next? We're at 92 pressure, 70 heat, and 118 oxygen. We're doing we're doing great, I, I feel. You know, when you compare it to yourself. I got a new message. I wonder if that's Jerome. Oh, but I'm not going to be able to. I'm frozen. Oh my god, that was a direct hit on our hut. <gasps> I'm not going to be able to catch him in this storm. All right, guys. Dang it. The episodes go by so fast. And the next... Whoa! Holy moly! I don't know why I'm saying holy moly all of a sudden. Oh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. In the next episode, we're going to search the rest of this gigantic ship. Get as much stuff as we can get our grubby little paws on. And then uh, see what else we can do. We're definitely improving and progressing along. This Jernome character sounds interesting. Hopefully he can get me patched through to someone who knows a thing or two about science. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. I appreciate you all watching. You have a good one. Stay safe. And until the next time, bye.